Good morning. So I'm Frederick and I have the latest uh, Sonnet Positea. I'm really a happy customer from Sonnet and both uh, Metrum. I have the Metrum Adagio, which was the reference dog for years in the 432 Evo Master system. Then I have the Metrum, no, I have the follow up, the Sonnet Morpheus, which sounds better than the Adagio. And now we have uh, today, no, yesterday we received the Pasitea, which is like uh, the Morpheus but with more modules. So the strange thing is that for every sample rate up till 192 kilohertz, it sounds better. No, no discussion about that. It sounds great. Cold, cold from the box, it sounds better than the old Morpheus. So that's good news. But then something strange happened. In the 432 EVO, we always output in 352.8 kHz, which is the DXD frequency. The reason being that whatever transformation you do from, let's say, a DSD decode to PCM, or whatever input file that you use, if you output to 352.8 kHz, that will cover all the situations. Yeah, like you will not have really like a resolution loss. So this is why internally, we always in the 432 EVO we use the 352.8 kilohertz as sample rate to which we output. So and yesterday something really strange happened. When we play when we so in the EVO when we upsample to 352.8, it's like clipping, like the duck, it cracks, it's like really horrible. We don't understand. So we, we, we ask the, the manufacturer and yeah we get a strange answer. So we, we started to do more research and more research was like, okay, can we bypass the upsampling in the EVO and just make noise files in 192 and 352.8 kilohertz. So we did. And then the strange thing was that on the EVO indeed, even without the player and just, you know, playing without the upsampling and just playing these let's say files which already are in the native correct resolution we got like a significant level difference so and then we decided like can't we can't we do this on another system so here i have like uh, you know a little competitor i have root on this competitor so i decided let's let's analyze if these files also have this problem on the competitor so what i'm doing here is like i have the the deck I have my Zoom H8 recorder, which is, you can barely see it, but it is a, a, it is a 2496 recorder on 10 analog channels, and we are currently using two channels. So the file we have created are, is a 192 file and a 352 file. So the 352 is brown noise. The same for the 192 and you can see that we just we kill the the squeeze lights on the competitor then we sleep give it some time so that a play can claim the sound card so we use a play the card sonnet which is like the usb duck and then the file so let's play the file so we're gonna play it we press enter and you can observe the output levels on the zoom you can see that the deck it's locked and if you listen to the sound I'm putting the, the headphone you can listen that it cracks like crazy so let's kill this process now, I don't have to do it because it's 30 seconds, so it's faster than me. So then let's do the 192. Uh, my wife is calling. <laughs> no. So let's do the 192. 192. So you can see that now we play the 192. You can see that the level it's much lower it's really much lower you can see that it's still minus 10 and then i'm going to put my my headphone to the microphone of the phone and you can see that it does not crack 
so it's not cracking and you can see that the output level is really much lower so something in this duct is making everything above 192 kilohertz much louder and this is really strange it should not happen the duct should not make something louder when the input rate is much higher and this is not about bits flipping because we we we, we swapped the usb module from uh, the sonnet morpheus and the pasitea so that can be that, that cannot be the problem so something is like doing the equivalent of analog clipping i don't know why i don't know where it's not my job i'm not a duck designer but we believe that this is something that should be fixed because for those who want to use real high res i'm not talking about the stupid mqa but real high res like files in the highest resolutions like dxd and 384 kilohertz things like that that should not sound like it's clipping or sound like it's much louder and then in the play you have to you know reduce the volume by maybe 6 or 10 db which like undoes yeah the whole point of of buying these high res files because you want to play them as is and not having to mess with the volume in the player so not to make your deck clip so i really hope that this can be fixed because for me this is a major downer but i really still like the sound of this thing so yeah let's hope that we get a solution thank you for watching